Oh, that is beautiful. I love, love, love this color. It's like a bronzy, I can't describe it. It's like a bronzy color up in there. That's going to go over the one that I just put down. Because the other one was a transition color. <laughs> no, I never thought about being a makeup artist. Oh, no. Well, working with people in a department store uh, would be nice If because I'm retired now. So that would be something that I can do. But I've always worked in a hospital and always worked in the hospital helping people. So... No, this is just a hobby. This is something that I like. I just enjoy makeup. That's just... <laughs> that's just what I like to do. I, you know, I don't know if God gave me... Uh, he's trying to tell me something. <laughs> maybe he's trying to tell me. Maybe you need to do it. I don't know. I don't know. God has his plans, right? So, we'll see. So, now what I'm going to do is use a flat... Thank you, sweetie. I, I do my best. So now what I'm going to... And I like doing this. This is fun. So I got a flat brush right here. And I am going in with this... Uh, it's like a deep purple. It is so pretty. It's right here. It's a deep purple. And I'm going to put that purple on this lid right here. <laughs> okay? It's on my brush. I'll tap a little bit of it off. And this I'm going to go in and I'm just going to tap that in right on my lid. And go all the way up. Like this. I love purple. Oh my God. I can live in purple, okay? I just love me some purple. I don't care if it don't go. I love this. Oh, my God, girl. Look, I'm, I'm getting excited. Let me slow down. If you can see that. Oh, my goodness. Are you freaking kidding me? Ooh. Now, I'm going to go back in. I'm going to shape that back up again with the one that I just had that I went in with because i got to get that harsh line out of there. So it'll blend right into that color that I just put down. Oh, my God. Whew. Oh, yes. You are coming along, baby. Okay. <laughs> okay. So now what we're going to do, we're going to take another brush. And it's going to be a smaller one like this. And we're going to work that brow right up here. So... The one I'm going to use is this white one right here. It's very pigmented. Oh, my God. It is. Look, it picks up on the brush like that. So, we're going to go right here. Woo. Whoa. But I'm going to blend that out. It might look crazy now, but watch. I'm going to blend that out. I just want it to be right here. Not all the way. So what I'm going to do is take a fluffy brush and I'm going to use the Rihanna blending brush. It looks like this. And we're going to work this out. We're just going to blend this out. So I think I'm going to go all the way across. But I want it to be highlighted. You want to do a shadow? See? Oh, he is? Oh, that's nice of him to do that, honey. Yeah, so that's my husband. So, anyway, I'm just blending this out. Huh? See? I blend that down. See, once you blend that out and just keep blending. Ooh. But you can see the color. Oh, yes, yes, yes. It's just, it's just too much. <laughs> so now what I'm going to do, we got to line my eyes now. I was going to use, hmm, I've been using this all week. Uh, the perversion. Nah, I don't want that. My nose is running a little bit, excuse me. But what I was going to use, I'm going to use the Rihanna. 
you shake it up and uh, I'm going to use her to line we're just going to do a little fine line nothing thick nothing well I need to do a little bit more I'm being lazy now come on now <laughs> okay Hmm. Come in just a little bit more. I'm not going to do any winging and all that stuff. No, 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 no. We're not going to wing because my eyes water too much to wing. I know how to wing, but I'm not going to wing. I am going to be using my, uh, not Milani. I'm going to be using my... 24-7 by Urban Decay Black Liner in the waterline. I don't have on any mascara yet and I'm going to work the mascara and I'm going to set my makeup with my Scandinavia and then I'll be done. So, and then I'm using, the lipstick is by, um, it's a gloss, it's by Taraji, and it looks like this, Taraji Henderson. Looks like that. I was going to wear purple today, but I said, no, nah, I don't want, that's too much purple going on. Okay, and so then what I'm going to do is work my lashes. And I'm using the Perversion by Urban Decay. I love Urban Decay. They're the best. Been using them for years. You buy it at Ulta. And it does lift those lashes. If you don't want to do lashes, you can just work this mascara. That's one coat. Then I'm going to do another. And sometimes when your lashes, as you get older, your lashes get thinner. They do. That's why a lot of people be going and getting their lashes done and, you know, paying all that money. Mm -mm. I do my own. I do my own lashes. Honey, I pop them babies on in a minute. Because once you learn how to do the lashes and drop them down and do it, oh, it's on. You won't stop. I'm tell you that right now like once you learn and this is a very wet mascara it's pretty wet but once it dry down it, it's pretty cool just like I'm going to do my face like I have combination skin I get really oily in the t-zone during the day um, the best setting powder that I've ever used to blot down during the day is Rihanna by her at Sephora it's amazing. She got a really good foundation, too. I haven't tried it yet, but I've heard a lot, a lot of people talk about it. Because I do YouTube videos. I've been on YouTube for eight years. So it's under Lynette3232. So I've been on YouTube for a long time. Doing reviews. Yeah. Okay. So as you can see, that's on that's what two coats. And you can see that my lashes are lifted. I don't need lashes today. Don't need it. So the thing is, what I'm going to do is I am going to set everything. Everything is setting. Powder set. Powder foundation. No, your primer. Always use a primer. Then you go in with your foundation. Then you go in with your set. I know it sounds like a lot, but it's worth every minute of it. And uh, once you learn how to do it, it's fine. You shake this up. This is by Scandinavia. You order it online. They have really good deals where you get two, a primer, and a setting spray. Then you get little small travel ones for like 50 bucks. Free shipping. Amazing. I've been using this now for about Scandinavia. Probably about 
four years, maybe? About four years. I can honestly say it works. The guy that, and the guy that um, invented this, he was in Miami, Florida. He was at a club, and he saw all the women face melting down. Their foundation was melting. Then he came up with this idea. Well, can I help these women for their makeup to last? <laughs> he went into a lab and got, you know, how they go through all the stuff that they have to go through in order to create a product. And uh, he came up with this. And, you know, it's sweat proof. It lasts all day. It's weightless. It, um, it, let's see what it says here. Your weightless mist keeps your makeup looking flawless, locks in color, helps to prevent makeup from creasing or melting while minimizing the need for touch ups. And it's so true. Absorb quickly and last for up to 16 hours. Do you hear me? 16 hours. Now, I'm not going to wear my makeup 16 hours. And it's for all skin types. And they give you the little things on the back and let you know about it. You can also go on the website. And it is under Skindinavia.com. Uh, S-K-I-N-D-I-N-A-V-I-A. Amazing. Lasts all day long. I have now I've tried Mac. This is one of my Mac ones, and then Mac have Mac Fix Plus, but they don't set your makeup. These are just a refreshers, they're not a makeup setter. So people need to understand that they it don't set. So you shake this up really well and you close your eyes and you just and they usually like for you to do an X because that way you be covered all the way. So You do that three to four times and close your eyes. I know my face looks a hot, wet mess, but trust me, when it when it dries, it mats everything down from your. It don't move your 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 blush. It doesn't move your your um, highlighter. It doesn't move your uh, eyeshadow. None of that goes anywhere, and you just let it dry. Usually, I'll do this to kind of kind of get it. <laughs> Cause it'd be so wet. Or sometimes I might just do two instead of four. They suggest how many um in an X? Yeah, two to four. Yeah, two to four X's. One, two, three. And by the time you do four, you'd be like, whoa. So you really don't need to. And then sometimes I just go. Especially when I go to church, I'll be like and just spray. It's going to last. Your makeup going to last all the way till you go to bed at night. Nothing moves. It's crazy. So it's it's drying down. And once it dry down, you'll see how much more matte that my skin is going to look. I'm not going to need to use no more powder. I'm done. I'm done for the day. I don't have to add no more makeup. Done. I did my hair already. Thank God. I hate combing my hair. Oh, my God. I hate it. <laughs> I'm letting my hair grow out. My hair used to be short, but I'm letting it grow out. So I wear my little pieces and I do all that kind of stuff. It make, and plus, it's too hot. Okay. So it's drying down. I sprayed it really good because I wanted to demonstrate and show you that's how they like for you to set it is do it in an X three to four times. And it takes longer for your face to dry. Yeah, it does. It takes a good little while. But it's drying. I still look shiny, well, wet, <laughs> but my, these are my eyes for the day, and sometimes I'll do this, I'll go back in because I'll notice, but it's still there, I, I, sometimes I'll wet my brush and go back in and make it look more vibrant, but you can just go back in and retouch that up. Yep. And there we have it. It's not too much. It's not overbearing. Just make it simple. Yeah. That's it. Ooh. And then it's hot too. Oh my God. Yeah, my husband bought me this palette about 
by Jacqueline Hill about 